Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Vlogmas day one. I'm so excited. This is my second year in a row doing Vlogmas. I'm going to be trying to do every single day of December until Christmas and I am literally so excited. Like this is my favorite time of year. I wait for every single year I grew up watching Vlogmas. So the fact that I get to be a part of it is just a dream come true. And I'm so excited for all the fun videos I have planned. Today we're starting off strong with just a little day in my life, a little vlog, Christmassy vlog. As you can see, I got all the decorations in the back. If you guys missed my decorating my Christmassy room tour that I did, I will link it right here for you guys to go see. I vlogged the whole process of like going shopping for the decorations and setting it up and it was really cute and fun. So yeah, welcome to day one. This is like insane. I'm actually filming this a few days before December 1st so that I can get kind of like a head start on Vlogmas so that I can make sure to literally get a video up every single day. I have to do a little bit of prepping. So almost December right now when I'm filming this, by the time you guys are seeing it, it is December 1st. So happy December. This is going to be a great holiday season and I have so many things planned that you guys just have no idea about yet and I'm so excited. Really quickly, before we get on to today's vlog, I'm gonna do a little fit check because I am loving my outfit today. Here's the outfit. We have this really cool brown swirly sweater with some brown leather pants. I'm addicted. This is from H&M. So cute. I'm probably gonna throw a little jacket on over top but like I'm just obsessed with this sweater. We're starting off Vlogmas strong with a fun little sweater. This morning I didn't really do anything crazy. I kind of just got ready. I filmed a few brand deals that I had to get done and out of the way and so now I have the rest of the day to kind of relax and just like do some fun stuff. It's a Friday night. Me and Sam are about to leave to go get some sushi together a little sushi date i'm literally starving so let us go and do that i think he's outside waiting for me already so let's head out and get some sushi all right guys we just made it to our sushi date i'm so excited because i'm starving sushi really quickly before we go in they have a lunch special at this sushi place where it's like cheaper than usual and every single time we decide that we want sushi we always realize literally like a minute before the lunch special is about to end and it ends at three o'clock and we called it 259 and somehow she's still like the woman who worked there still let us have the lunch special so we're going to get our food we're probably going to eat inside and I'm so excited. Fried rice. Nothing better than fresh fried rice. I don't want to hear nothing from anybody. What do you have to say for yourself? That was a really good lunch. Yeah. We're gonna get muffins. Make his pockets hurt. For every overdressed girlfriend, there's an underdressed boyfriend. <laughs> Look at my outfit. Actually, you can't even see my outfit, but I already showed you guys. And this is Sam's outfit. The slides. I don't know what we're gonna do now. It's only 3.40 on a Friday night. I need to hit the gym. You just ate. So yeah, we don't really know what to do for the rest of the night, but I think, you know what I do think we should do tonight? We got a Oreo gingerbread house making thing from Target That's like a few days ago. And we have yet to use it. So I think we should do that tonight. I made Sam take some Instagram pictures of me before we left. And I don't know if they're good. Like so quick. He was like hanging out the car window as he was taking the pictures of me. You know like when sometimes they're kind of bad, but you can probably still make it look cute. So the glass is one fourth full. Yeah, basically. So go check my Instagram Which to see if I posted it. Only it. Needs three more fourths of full. Ooh, that fence is so nice. I should have took a picture in front of that fence. Well, you'll be kicked off their property. Literally, now. if you live in a small town, you know the struggle of finding like cute areas to take pictures for your Instagram because the only thing that you have around here is either trees, which most of the time they're freaking ugly and like 
barely have any leaves on them or other people's fences like obviously everybody's gonna have different color fences and they're gonna look differently so usually my go-to is to find someone's fence that is just like one color a solid background sam's a fencer and so yeah if you go on my instagram i take pictures in front of multiple <laughs> people's fences people that i don't even know there's that don't know if they would be upset at that but what they don't know will hurt them we're just driving back home now i'm gonna digest a little bit i don't really know what the plan is for the rest of the night right now we're passing the house of a really nice old lady <laughs> Did i tell them the story of the lady this is a good story time right now for you guys okay so a lady lives in this house right there i'm not gonna show it that much but let me take you guys back like 2017 right it was like 2017 2018 Probably. this was a very dark time in my life i was very like anxious all the time and like kind of depressed all the time i didn't really have many friends like all i had was sam and so we were driving in the car i remember coming down this road and sam told me that he was going on vacation with his family for like two weeks like he was going to be gone for two weeks he's like going to europe. yeah he was going to europe so not only was he going to be gone but he was probably not going to be able to text me for those two weeks because of the time difference he was telling me all this information on this car ride and to my 17 year old anxious depressed mind that was like the worst news i ever heard in my entire life and it made me so upset i was like what the hell am i gonna do i was so depressed and like i just instantly started crying i think there was something going on with my hormones that i just instantly started crying even though it's like not even a big deal sam had to pull over to like console me because he's like babe like sweetie i'm still going like stop crying so he pulled over in front of that house and we're just parked in front of her house and i'm just crying and like my side is like facing her house so like she can see me the woman comes out of her house and starts walking towards the car and in my head i'm like oh my god like she's probably mad that we're pulled up in front of her house like we have to leave but she like looked like she was gonna say something so we didn't move and like sam rolled down the window and literally all she did was like she just like pet my head and she gave me a tissue and she was like don't cry like whatever you're have going on in your life right now like don't worry it's gonna be it's gonna get better and like just don't cry like are you okay like she literally was just so nice and so cute and i was just like i don't even remember what i said to her i was just like no like i'm fine like thank you like or something like that but i was like i didn't really say that much to her because i just was in shock like i was expecting her to come and yell at us but she was actually so cute she made me feel so much better and it was so nice like that was such a nice thing for her to do she probably thought that like me and sam were like fighting or something but yeah and then she she just like went back in her house and she just gave me tissues and so after that day i've always wanted to like go like bring her flowers leave a note by her door and, why didn't and i just never did i don't know why i feel like i kind of got i kept getting scared to do it i really should but Let's i feel go. like she, I mean, she probably won't remember me by now it's been so many years <laughs> i think days like that are what we live for yeah that was so nice like literally that taught me to always do small acts of kindness to people good thoughts good words good deeds good action Good reward. She definitely got good karma for doing that. But you know where I got that one from. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Let's listen to no this conversation. Sam speaks Russian if you guys didn't know. But you move. He's bilingual. No, but it's not sure. Got you a man who's bilingual. Um, yes. Da. Take my shoes off, my servant. Thank you. Look at those boots. All right, guys, we're back in my room and I just put on some sweatpants. And I got a little PR package from Motel Rocks. Can you see that? Motel Rocks. And it's quite heavy. Do a little unboxing. I honestly don't remember what I picked out. What is this? Like oh, like I remember I got this. Jacket of some sort. I remember I got this really pretty, like, purple set. It's gonna look so sick. Oh, I got the pants to match the shirt. Okay, this looks cool. I think I got a little pants and shirt set actually. Two, four brown jeans. <laughs> this is so cute, look at this. It's like long sleeve, then it has like this right here. Cute. This is snake skin. <gasps> Ooh, look at these pants. They're schnazzy. Motel Rocks has the cutest things ever. Like if you ever need like a cool outfit, like you want to like look different, like you don't want to look like every basic girl, go to Motel Rocks. Even though I feel like a lot of girls shop at Motel Rocks. <laughs> I'm going to be posting a TikTok haul with them very shortly. I'm very excited about it. So follow me on TikTok. Now I have to put these all away and clean up the mess that we made. Look at this. This Ooh. is, I think this is for your toes. 
What? Another PR package that I got recently that really just made me very happy is from Dermalogica. I kind of put it right there underneath my tree. One part of the set that they gave me. I have really been loving their skincare. Like maybe tonight when I take my makeup off, I'll like kind of show you guys the skincare I've been doing. But I really like the products that they sent me. So you guys should definitely go get your hands on some Dermalogica. Maybe for the holidays, ask for it for Christmas or whatever you celebrate because I've been really liking them. <sighs> okay, well... I guess I'll check back in with you guys when I am doing something exciting or fun because I'm probably gonna lay down and watch TikToks. Right, I'll see you later, bye. So, BRB. Okay, it is a little bit later. I did indeed lay in bed and watch TikToks for like two hours and now it is dinner time. So, I'm gonna go eat some dinner. Me and my sisters ordered Applebee's for some reason. I haven't had Applebee's in probably five years. But um, I just got a little bit of something because I'm still kind of full from the sushi. So I think I got like mozzarella sticks or something. We're gonna go eat that. Sam just left to go to the gym. I'm hoping that he comes back early so that I'm not too tired. Welcome to Vlogmas because I've decided that if I'm gonna be filming literally every single day, I'm just gonna have to film everything. And it's just gonna be a vlog no matter if it's boring or interesting. We're just gonna film everything, baby. So let's go eat. had dinner like you saw and we also made some cinnamons like you saw for dessert so we decided not to do the gingerbread house tonight because we honestly just kind of got a little bit tired and we just didn't end up doing it but good thing that this is vlogmas and we film every single day because we can just do it tomorrow i think that's what we're gonna do right now i'm just putting my hair up because i'm going to take my makeup off and like i said i'm going to show you guys some of my new skincare products i've been using sam do you want to do skincare with me yeah i already washed my face i usually will just tie back my hair and pick in it so now we are ready to go wash our face so let's go to the bathroom so this is what i use to take my makeup off i use this it is by dermalogica like i said it is their free cleanse you kind of just use this as an oil to take your makeup off and like break it down or rub it around your face and it really just melts the makeup off and then you look like this <laughs> then i go in with the face wash and really get all the remaining makeup off now that my face is all clean, let's head back in my room to do the skincare. For one, I always do my lips, so I'm gonna put this lip oil on from Dior. It's my favorite ever. You have to do my hair. She likes to do my hair. That's good, right? I clip his hair back. Okay, so we have a lip oil on. It looks amazing. Next toner i have never used toner before but i started to use the one that dermalogica sent this is not sponsored by dermalogica by the way they just i'm on their pr list and they've been sending me a bunch of their holiday gift set that comes with like this entire skincare routine and it, i just been really loving it so this is what i've been doing it's a multi-active toner you literally just spray it on your face so don't really know what it does but it feels very nice so come here that definitely doesn't feel nice but you don't think it feels nice? Mm -hmm. I went to Ulta the other day also and I got Mighty Patches for the first time. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like those pimple patches. I don't really need one right now, but I'm excited about these because I feel like I'm always randomly in need of them and I never had them. So now I did. Um, okay, what's next? Once you let that dry into the skin. Oh my God, I've also been loving their moisturizer. So Dermalogica has this like really thick skin smoothing cream and I love it. Like my skin gets so dry in the winter that I was really in need of a thick ass moisturizer and this has really been saving me. It feels so nice. I usually put on Curology also, but I'm gonna wait a little bit for the moisturizer to sink in and then I'm gonna apply it. But Sam wants to apply it now. He uses my Curology because he doesn't wanna buy it himself and it really does help his acne, so. Just last night me and Sam had a sleepover and it was so comfortable. Did you think it was comfortable last night? I was like this. I was like so snuggled up so... and and then in the morning he had to leave for school like at eight in the morning and I like heard him get up and he like was like quiet and then he came and kissed me on the forehead Aww. before he left. And then I did kind of wake up like after that. Okay. Oh, I have to put some Curology on. I usually just put my Curology like all over my face because it has like nice cinnamide in it. I don't know why. I always have like hyperpigmentation, I think it's called. Like red spots, even though they're like flat, like 
It's really weird. I actually got a Kiehl's um, eye cream that I'm so excited to try. Where is it? Oh wait, did I put it in there? I think I put it in my fridge. <gasps> I did. I did. I'm actually so smart because I put it in the fridge and now it's cold, which is amazing. This is gonna feel so good right now. It's a rub it in. I feel pretty. Ooh, I'm gonna get my gua sha. Guys, didn't see that vlog where I got this from Sephora. It's like a gua sha and roller mix. It feels so good, like... That is my skincare routine. I feel like my skin has been looking so nice and glowy. I mean, obviously I still have some imperfections, but it feels nice. Let's put her back in my skincare fridge or just my mini fridge. I don't know why I called it that. She's so cute. Of course, I keep my Yeti right by my nightstand. If you guys don't know about my Yeti obsession, it's a real thing. I'm obsessed. I have so many of them and I just bought this new one. This is my new baby to my collection. It is their sandstone color, I think, which is like new and it's beautiful. So this is my new favorite thing ever. I take her everywhere that I go. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I love her. Look how beautiful we look together. She's my best friend. So yeah, it is now about that time that me and Sam get into bed. Look how cozy my bed looks. We get into bed and we watch a Netflix movie or a TV show. We've been watching Netflix Christmas movies to be exact for the past few nights. We watched almost like every single one that's on Netflix, even the terrible ones. So I don't know what we're gonna watch tonight, but maybe there's a new one that we can watch. There's so many on Netflix. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna change into some pajamas and then we'll get into bed. Get this Christmassy vibe. Literally living in Christmas. Say hello. As far as Santa feels. What? We're in bed now. I'm gonna watch something. We watch Silent Night. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this entire video. Thank you for watching Vlogmas day one. We have one day down, 24 more to go. It's gonna be so fun. Um, Hopefully I can do it. Give this video a thumbs up and send me some words of encouragement in the comment section. Also comment some video ideas for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also hit that subscribe button, tell your friends about me, send my videos to your friends so you guys can watch them together every single day. It'll be a fun little thing and we could be a big family. If you go and comment on my most recent Instagram picture, the Santa emoji, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can comment the snowflake emoji, whichever you want, snowflake or the Santa, either one of those two, so that I know that you came from Vlogmas day one and I will follow you guys back and spam you. So go do that if you want. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be so fun to say that. It's like we're just hanging out every single day. Like I could just see you tomorrow. Like don't worry, don't miss me too much because I'm just gonna see you tomorrow. How exciting is that? That's so exciting. Sam doesn't care about me. Night guys, bye.